we need to find the expression that's equivalent to the one that they show us. Now, there's a couple ways you could do it. You probably know that you can just FOIL all the answers and match it, or you can factor the original expression. Um, but Desmos could be used for this, and I just want to show you a way that you can use Desmos to get to the answer. So first thing is go to Desmos and type in the original function, x squared plus 7x, was it minus 30? Okay. And you can see that it graphs that nice quadratic, looks like that. And now we can just plug in each of the answers into Desmos, and we're going to be looking for the graph to match up with the one there in red, because that would prove that they are equivalent. Okay, so if I type in the first one, minus 5 and plus 6, so x minus 5, x plus 6, okay, you could see that the graphs are different, and therefore that answer in A is not equivalent to the other one because their graphs don't match up. The graphs have to match if they're equivalent, right? So you could eliminate answer A, and if you do that process, you would eventually find out that C is the answer, and let me just type that in to show you what it would look like. X minus 3 and X plus 10. Well, let me just change out this 5 for a 3 and the 6 for a 10. And there you have it. You could see that they match up. If I want to make the blue one disappear and then put it back, you could see obviously they overlap. And so that just shows that C must be the answer. So on questions like this, yeah, you could FOIL or factor. And that would probably be quicker. So do it that way if you know how. However, if you're not so comfortable doing that, you can use Desmos to match the graphs.